Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So, uh, in this video, um, I'm going to try to keep it brief and to the point. So, people end up doing oil cooler deletes on their 1G DSMs, uh, Evos, and uh, 2Gs, you know, if they have the Evo 3 oil filter housing, similar to this. Um, the kits that they sell come with little plugs that you put over both of these holes here. Uh, normally there'd be two banjo bolts here, but um, if you have a leak uh, or something and you have to you have to drive your car for whatever reason uh, They just put two bolts in here and there, but um, You don't want to do that and in this video. I'm going to show you why um, So I've already loosened this and I'm removing it. This is the thermostatic valve um, Not to be confused with the pressure relief valve, which is here on the end. Um, so, what this does is it basically takes hot oil and forces it through the oil cooler. So, if you want to imagine an oil cooler right here, or my hand is an oil cooler, the hot oil would come in from here, the cold oil would re enter over here, closest to the engine, pretty much. Um, so, how that works is this thermostat. If you were to heat this up, this would extend from the seat here. The uh, let me see if I got a pointer here. All right, so I got this little pick. This this will have to do. So this seat right here is going to raise this position right here up, and when that happens, the uh, the top of this piston. Is going to meet its seat in there. That happens when the oil reaches a certain temperature. I haven't actually checked what temperature these open at, um, but I have actually observed one of these opening in that manner. So when they do, they lock into there, and what ends up happening is because the oil can't bypass and go to a cooler, it has to fight the pressure of this spring to open. So I'd rather that oil just go back into the engine without having to fight a spring. So one thing people have done in the past is they get this, uh, let me get the camera to focus here. They basically get this uh, circle clip here. They take it off and then they'd remove the piston and the spring. That's the free way to do it. Um, but if you ever intend to run an oil cooler in the future, it's going to be hard to find a spring in a little seat in a Ziploc. So what I like doing is just uh, sticking the whole thing in a Ziploc and going out and buying a plug that you can actually put in place of the original uh, thermostatic valve. So make sure you get a crush washer too. Uh, this is an oil drain plug for an Audi Volkswagen. Um, it's a uh, M24X 1.5. Uh, you guys can Google oil drain plug in that size, and it'll probably you'll probably find something on there uh, for under ten bucks. Uh, this one I got for really cheap at a junkyard, so it threads in and everything, and it works. I don't want to actually thread it on this one, but basically. If you put a plug on here like this instead of uh, leaving this as it sits, the smart or the cool thing about it is now the oil can travel instead of having to fight anything, it's just going to travel through here and then go back into the engine there. So that's just something to uh, take into account if you decide to block these off. I actually did this on my engine that I just got. The previous owner didn't do this modification. He didn't know about it, I don't think, because not enough people really talk about it. Um, they just talk about the kits that they sell that block both of these, and um, those kits really should come with this plug. Um, I'm not sure if they still sell those kits. Um, it's been a while. I remember I read up an article on uh, DSM tuners on this, uh, and I just you know kept it in the back of my mind pretty much, and opportunity came up, and... I saw this on the engine that I just purchased, and I thought, you know what, other people are going to make this mistake again. So maybe, hopefully, if anybody sees this, um, they won't mess up 
their engine or anything. Uh, I've heard some people have had rod bearing issues because of it. Um, but the oil pressure, I mean, it goes all the way back to the head and everything else from this port right here after it's filtered. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely going to cause issues eventually. If you if you ever get to a point where this extends all the way, it's going to have an oil loss. Com <clears throat> Excuse me, it's going to have an oil loss uh, problem. Uh, so you're going to have to. You know, you'll be like looking all over the place trying to find stuff. So, I guess the moral of the story is if you buy those kits that have the two uh, two plugs, you want to make sure you get this plug too. And um, if you guys like the video, consider subscribing. Uh, at least leave a like. <laughs> Appreciate anything I can get. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.